Hello traders and thank you for joining me. My name is Mike Hamilton of Trade Easy Way and I have done a comprehensive analysis of the week and I just want to share some key issues with you. This is the NASDAQ on the daily so a nice move off of this major support level and into this resistance and then we saw a sell signal on Friday very weak, very low volume and we've got the Greek election today, Sunday and so I want to see how the market reacts to this but on the face of it, it looks a relatively high RSI just above the you know, 58, 58 points above the midline there uh, if we start to close under here then I think we're going to see a trace to at least 4200 there we've got Fed Day on Wednesday so I'm just going to sit on my hands uh, in the early part of the week what you could do if you want to get involved in this market you could short a push underneath that and then see if that rolls back to 4200 but you have to have a stop up there risk order ratio is not great that risk versus that reward is about 2 to 1 just however if we get going and do a full retracement to major support that risk risk reward ratio is looking good the way I'm going to play it is I'm going to hang around and leave this market alone and then see what happens on Fed Day. And then after the Fed have announced their rate decision and had their press conference, then I want to see what the market thinks of it. Okay, so Wall Street was, was weaker. That was the weaker one of all the three indices. That closed very, very close to the daily 50 EMA. And you can see the weekly channel is still very much intact, although it has got something of a distribution pattern in it. Yeah, this is looking, we're struggling up here at 18,000 and looking as if we could potentially come down and test 16,500. But uh, like I said, I'm going to sit tight, see if we bounce around here and hold and push back up. Uh, but start showing some weakness and I will start shorting highs to see if we're going to get down there. Okay, so that's my plan. And let's look at the dollar pairs initially. Dollar yen is one I wanted to get up, not that one. Obviously, not touching the US dollar Swissy because of what's going on in that market. Massive manipulation in, um, is not healthy for traders because if you get on the wrong side of it, you're going to get clobbered. Um, a week close on the US dollar yen, we engulfed Thursday's price action, so I'd love this trend line down here and this apex. I would very, very much like to see if we can come down to 115 and see what they want to do with it because the monthly is very high. I think this one needs to dip further before that sees the volume, and that goes the same for the pound yen. Uh, UK services and GDP this week coming up, so uh, just want to give that a chance to uh, see a lot of support down here. So again, shorting that is going to be risky, and then that one has a wiggly hammer at 173. Intraday, I would consider a short at 177.20.50 area uh, to see if that can come all the way, potentially all the way down to 170. Uh, it's it's you can see on the weekly we've had a big run, big mighty run on this. So pulling back is no bad thing on these markets. So that's to be applauded. Pound Aussie dollar been banging on at this for a while. Uh, lovely M shape dipped underneath, took me out, and obviously a lot of others, and held and did a nice move off of uh, ECB. Dropped into 18560 area and ended up getting very close to 190. I would love to see that pull back to 188. So I'm going to hang around, see what the market wants to do, and see if I can get a pullback on that one. This obviously, Euro US is coming to a big fib area. ECB would probably like to see it come down to parity. Uh, but we are very extended, look at the RSI, we are very extended here, so I don't want to chase this market. I would, however, consider a short at 11450, 115. So I'm not going to chase that one, I'm going to see where it wants to go. And Euro Yen, 
that looks as if one, two, five is possible. One, three, four, twenty would be a great area on that one. Right, looking just a little wider from the markets. Gold has had a good run. We can see from this fib area on the weekly chart, we slammed into the fifty percent. RSI is high-ish. Uh, I think if we start closing under twelve eighty, that is going to potentially roll over. I could come all the way down to a thousand bucks. Uh, that has good implications for the pound Aussie dollar. Pound Aussie dollar could see a very nice trend move heading up to 192.200 on that one if that happens. Daily signal is certainly very weak but not selling. Let's put fibs on that. Yeah, look at that. To start closing under 1290 area, and very least we're going to see a pullback to 1240, 1250. Uh, very high RSI got to extended oil. Just can't hold up. Uh, we do look as if we're going to come down to 40. A lot of Experts suggesting we're going to come to 40. Uh, the charts would would look that way as well. That will be a, re a retest of a weekly hammer going back to Feb 09. So any highs are getting sold into. It's very extended to the downside. So stay put because if you get a market that's this extended. And uh, if that were to close above 46.70, that were to close above this area here, that could get a dead cat bounce into 42.60. That's why you should never chase, or I suggest you don't chase markets. Uh, you do not want to get short in a market that, that is that low for fear of a swift and violent bounce. Alright, but certainly it's drifting higher selling, drifting higher selling. If you look at it pushes up, sells, pushes up, sells, pushes up. If you do want to trade this, and if you drop down to a 60 minute chart. I was going to say 15, but you've got a, something like this. You got. A, I suggest you want to look at it on a 60 minute chart. And let's put the fibs on this big move here, down to the lows. You can see it pushed up into the top of this. This is the major zone. Pushed up into this sell area, and then just sold. Pull back to, to a resistance area and then sold. Pull back to a resistance area and then sold. So the resistance area here, I would suggest, would be ideally 48.30 or 47.50 is more likely. 47.50 is potentially a good short area in that one. All right, I do hope that helps. Your feedback would be very welcome. And I will send you an update of events that are coming out and new course dates, which I am just about to finalize on Monday. All right, and trade safely. Take it easy. Let the market come to you. Give it time to settle now and show you what it wants to do. And then I will update you on Monday and subsequent days with my normal daily video. And uh, so watch out for that and hope you enjoy it. Thank you very much and bye for now.